it's Bunny, and today we're gonna do a good old fashioned tea vlog in my car, like we always used to do. I just feel like it's been a long time since we've done this kind of parking lot vlogging format. So uh, grab your favorite beverage, hopefully it's sweet tea, and sippy sippy along with me while I tell you a magical tale all about my hair. Sippy sippy. I hope I don't have lipstick on my teeth. Ugh. I put on a lot of red lipstick and then I ate a salad and it was like green and red. It was like Christmas in my teeth. Also, I hope you guys are not hearing any like whooshing air conditioning sounds, but it is literally like 98 degrees outside today in Texas. So I think if I don't have any air conditioning, I will die, which is not cool. So today is going to be a vlog all about my brand new hair, which I hope you guys will enjoy. You guys can probably tell, I hope that you can tell, that my hair is all blonde now. There's no more black in it. And it's all like my natural shade of blonde, pretty much. He did this technique. Let's stop and rewind. I feel like I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. So who did my hair was Guy Tang. And uh, a lot of you guys, when I posted about this on Instagram, y'all seem to already be like really familiar with his work. He is amazing. He does hair magic. Anytime I've ever seen his work, it's just just like how do you do this definitely by far my best salon experience so I'll just start off by saying that the technique that he did is balayage I think I am saying that correctly the whole day I was joking that balayage sounds like a fancy Vegas hotel does it not I'm staying at the balayage it is mostly my real hair color which you can see sprouting out of my head and then I believe that there are some contrasting mixtures it's so weird like when he was bleaching the black out of my hair my hair started to go like an ashy almost green color it's like my inner alligator was just coming out through my hair so he did put a toner on it that made my hair kind of like all my natural color or to subtract the, the green out he's gonna put up a video on his channel so if you want to know the more like technical technique -y side you should definitely watch his video I'm not sure that it's gonna be up by the time that I put this one up though so just stay tuned I will link you guys to his channel in the info box I'm not sure if if that's ooh, that's that's much improvement it definitely did kind of make it all more one color looking to me so if you guys watched my channel if you've been here for a long time I just re-looked up that video to see when I put it out so in September of 2013 around that time I think I think I actually had it done in August of, of 2013 but that was the last time that I had anything done to my hair at all cut colored trim anything so my hair as you've been seeing it is just been grown out all that time that's why the black it was really faded to brown like if you saw me in person or in certain light settings it didn't look black at all anymore if I turned it to a certain degree it looked like a really like reddish brown color that's also one of the reasons why I never really liked to straighten my hair is when I straightened it it did not look very good at all anymore because it was like blonde brown black you know like just at the bottom it didn't really have like any cohesion or like nice mixture to it anymore I have been horrified to have my hair cut since then because I'm just gonna link you guys to this video that was like the worst salon experience I had ever had in my life that time in 2013 I was already trying to remove the black from my hair and I never really I oh this is where I'm torn because like I'm starting to really Really love how it's looking now but like when I was in the chair I got my hair done on last Sunday when I was in the chair with Guy Tang I started crying once all the black was gone because I really do miss it it's just hard for me to get used to looking at myself without black in my hair because for the past I think six or seven years my hair has been blonde and black so I was just used to seeing that like whew, like contrast you know in my hair and it's like it almost became 
a part of me and I guess that's kind of the comments that I'm not looking forward to reading is like people who just kind of feel like I'm not as sassy anymore or like that it has something to do with my personality because I'd like to think that my hair color is like just my hair color and no matter what my hair looks like like I'm still the same person like it's still my personality and I will just say he has the patience of a saint because I felt so bad and I felt embarrassed like crying because at that point like I went in and I asked him and I said I want my blonde back like I want to go back to my natural color I've tried to do it before it was never successful like so that was our game plan it's not like he just sat me down in the chair and was like this is what we're gonna do now I felt stupid for crying because it's like what are you crying for this is what you asked for you asked for the black to be out of your hair and at that point he'd probably put about six and a half to seven hours of work into it and I like just kind of had a minor panic attack because I was like oh my god can we just like put some black back in it like some random streak some section you know just kind of like grabbing its straws and like wanting to like revert totally back you know but he was just like very patient and very kind and was like you know just sit with it for a while simmer with it you know see how you feel and then like definitely one of the things that he showed me was a comparison of the before picture and I noticed that like when he moved the picture away from me the the black sections from far away just made it look like I was missing sections of hair and I just feel like with it being all blonde it looks like I have so much more hair because like that's kind of one of the things that was annoying me it's like when I would wear black clothing which like a ton of my clothing is like black or dark it would you couldn't see the hair on top of it I think in that time hair iron video I just changed shirts I put on a white shirt so you guys could see the curls that were forming so some things like that were kind of starting to frustrate me and that was part of the reason why I wanted the natural blonde to come back but you guys with anxiety know like anxiety works in mysterious ways and sometimes the most random things trigger me and then I'm like having a panic attack and like crying awkwardly and I don't know it can be embarrassing I also feel like it's always like okay to cry like if you feel like you need to cry just cry about it like that's a healthy emotion you know I feel like crying is like therapeutic sometimes so I was glad that he wasn't like you know laughing at me or something like that or just being like you're stupid or something like that you know he was just very like patient and thoughtful and sweet and that definitely helped me with the process I have a lot of bad trust issues with salons since I had that experience like two years ago back then in 2013 I did still want to keep some black in it but not framing my face because as the black was kind of getting more and more and that's what was happening with the black is like I started out with like nice little you know chunks or sections but then it's like every time I would go back and get the black added in they were like oh well we just need to ca like grab these couple strands and mix them in and it's like more and more and more black was being added in and I love natural eyebrows and I don't want to start like making my eyebrows black or anything so it just didn't mix very good with like my skin color in my opinion I didn't like the black being so in front of my face so uh, if you guys watch that vlog like that just turned out a catastrophe it totally ruined my hair trying to take the black out and my hair turned orange my hair broke off I had to have it cut like way shorter than I would ever want the whole thing just made me so uncomfortable so I said I was never ever ever gonna let anybody touch or color or cut my hair again when I put the side-by-side comparison pictures on Instagram first of all nobody believes that like the left hair and the right hair is the same person because it looks so much different and healthier and it's it's really wild because he did have to take off about two and a half inches in length in my hair to get all of the scraggly gross dead ends but when I look at my hair I don't really feel like visually it's that much shorter and now this is my hair today with ringlets in it so when you curl your hair it always appears 
used to be a little shorter than it actually is. So this is the length of my hair now. Please forgive my steering wheel, which is in the way. So this is what my hair, oh look, I've got like a random straight piece. So you can kind of see that it is a little bit longer if it was straightened. I'm definitely incredibly comfortable with this length and just trimming off the dead ends makes my hair feel so much healthier and smoother and better. I feel like it doesn't look so frizzly frazzly like after I wash it or comb it or style it or whatever. Um, I've almost had it done for a week now. The only thing that I will say is like I do somewhat right now miss the black and I went through like a whole identity crisis in like three days because I was like every picture ever drawn of me has black hair and like every picture I've ever taken on YouTube like I have black hair. He recommended when I do miss the black I can always put like some little clip in extensions in and then just you know curl it with my regular hair so it still will kind of look like I have black and blonde in my hair and I'm kind of thinking that that's going to be a good option because I don't want my hair to just like totally turn black again. Also with the black there's this misconception okay and I just want to say at least for my hair it's a total misconception like if you go black it's never going to fade or get out of your hair and like that is not true for me at least like it was a little bit difficult to totally remove the dark color and go back blonde he did have to bleach my hair three times but he does like he, he did color remover first two times and then he bleached it three times but he has like this magical product called Olaplex that somehow gently bleaches your hair so even though my hair had all of that done to it it still somehow magically looks healthier than when I walked in. For me I had to be extremely cautious about not washing my hair with hot water. If I ever like just washed my hair in the shower with hot water the black would fade super fast. I had to be incredibly cautious with what kinds of shampoos that I I used because anything with sulfates will make the black definitely fade out of your hair so it was just like a lot of upkeep plus my hair grows really fast so pretty quick after I always dyed it black there would be that like line growing out of my hair and it's just like there's not I haven't at least found anybody in the greater Houston area that I would feel comfortable with dyeing my hair so if I have a guy do my hair like I'm not in LA but like twice a year maybe so just kind of having the black in my hair naturally black sections kind of doesn't necessarily make sense for me anymore but I, I am with a lot of you guys who say that you do miss the black I do in a way miss the black too I kind of just wanted to go back and have like my own natural hair again for a while like some days I really did miss being all blonde especially when I do like more Victorian looks like I'm wearing today I just felt like I wanted to look kind of this is, sounds so silly like I'm like um what is that LARPing or something every day I wanted to look kind of more like authentically Victorian sometimes and in those ways I feel like the black and the blonde didn't really go together I hope I'm kind of like answering all the questions definitely all the technical stuff will be answered in his video oh I forgot to say so this process took like eight to eight and a half hours we probably washed and blow dried my hair like 10 to 11 times that day he is incredibly thorough like definitely I had like this one spot of hair like this one streak of black hair on this side that would not bleach out for anything we had to bleach that little I, I almost wanted to leave it so I could be like I've got a tail I love it so much and I hope you guys are gonna love it too I hope Swamp Family loves my new hair I'm kind of nervous I know that some people are gonna be negative Nancy's and not like it or think that I'm totally boring or like that I'm a totally different person now I wanted healthy hair this is the color I was born with so I feel like I should rock it because it is what was naturally sprouting out of my head. So uh, thank you guys so, so much for being here and thank y'all so, so much for all of your supportive comments already. You guys were helping me and you didn't even know it because at first, like I said, I was kind of like panicking about change. Like 
change just scares me. I don't deal well with change of any kind. So definitely all of the positive comments and all the comments just saying how much you guys loved it and how healthy it looks and just how great. I mean, definitely like thank you guys so, so much for those comments and for those compliments. I just could not live without you guys' support. Truthfully, I feel like y'all help me like with everything I do at every turn of the road and the support, it just like forever. I will never ever be able to say thank you enough though. I feel like I try and say thank you a lot. I just want you guys to always feel so appreciated like as much as I do appreciate you guys and I just want y'all to know that I'm always so appreciative to have y'all in my life and y'all make such an incredible difference for me especially like when I'm upset or I'm struggling with something so just thank y'all so 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 very much for always being there it does take some getting used to but I feel like a lot of you guys already thought that my hair was all blonde again because pretty much like here like shoulder length um, everything that y'all pretty much see in the frame when I film my normal videos was looking blonde so maybe it won't be like that much of a change except for like when I post pictures on Instagram I don't know I hope you guys love it let me know what you think comment down below we filmed a lot of clips that day so I'm sure it's taking him quite a bit of time to go through all of the clips but I just want to say y'all should definitely follow him on Instagram and stuff because just like the hair transformations it's amazing he does a lot of really like fun colored stuff which I always like love I love when people have like pastel hair or like rainbow hair stuff like that I could never do that personally just because like I like my old-fashioned kind of look too much to like have like blue hair or something but I just like oh it's like it's like secondhand envy like every time I see hair like that I just think that it looks so amazing and so unique and I love it. So he does all kinds of cool stuff, total like hair transformations like mine was. One more final sippy sippy. And I love you guys so much. I hope you're having an awesome summer. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today and for being here. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below. Subscribe. Become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl. Or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl. Same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.